Watch your cards on me where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. You know, there are millions of players around the world who compete in the FNCS every season, but today we're gonna be picking through them all to talk about the five best trios that we think you need to be paying extra attention to across the rest of this season's FNCS. You guys ready for this? Let's go, let's get this going. Okay guys, so one of the trios you definitely need to keep an eye out for over the course of this FNCS are the absolutely legendary trio, Acorn, Jack, and Slacks. All right, so, you know, they are some of the best players to ever compete in the Fortnite scene, and, you know, you need to look out for them in the next FNCS Grand Finals. These guys are not only the winners of the Season 5 FNCS, they also, you know, have dominated pretty much every tournament that they have played in recently. They have won so many cash cups, man. DH extras and, you know, third-party tournaments. I mean, that's just kind of ridiculous. This trio pretty much owns Slurpee Swamps, and any other player that decides to land there is basically just deciding to feed them free points. Shoot the tire. Nice! Even before the last FMCS, this trio has been incredibly consistent, and that consistency has only improved over time. No matter how they play, you're at least going to see them ranking up in the top three. Because they won the grand finals of the last FMCS, Acorn, Jack, and Slacks have automatically qualified for the Season 6 Grand Finals, which is going to give them an even bigger chance of winning back-to-back. -back. And so without a doubt, they are the best trio in the North America East region right now and are ahead of the meta. So keeping your eyes peeled, man, for their performance will definitely be a must. White. One left, one left, I think. Go for kill. Six white. Dead. Scoopy. Okay guys, so on the subject of consistency, the trio of Arkham, Epic Well, and Rex are well known to be the overall kings of the North America West region, and we expect that to continue over the rest of the FNCS. This trio is the absolute definition of domination, and they never allow any other trio in the region to get anywhere close to their position to the top. Just like the last trio we spoke about, Arkham, Epic Well, and Rex have a free pass into the grand finals since they won the season five FNCS. That's going to put them away ahead of the competition and really gives them a real chance of coming out on top and winning again, which would make them back to back to back three time FNCS champions. Back in season four, all right, and season five, this incredible trio dominated the opposition and claimed victory both times while barely breaking a sweat. Honestly, it was almost like the competition was a foregone conclusion and the rest of the trios were just playing for second place. With wins like this, it's no real surprise that this trio is the highest earning trio in the entirety of the North America West region with the jaw dropping 2.4 million in combined earnings. Wow. All three of them can play on keyboard and mouse, and they utilize the advantages of the input method perfectly, and as such, are probably some of the smartest fighters in the West. The overwhelming combination of Epic Well and Arkham's insane knowledge of the game, alongside Rex's dominant fighting skills, means that this trio really is almost unmatched in their abilities. You know, there just aren't just demons as a trio though, like, they're also some of the best players on their own. Arkham is known to be one of the most consistent solo players in the world, and got first and second back to back in previous solo FNCS tournaments and invitationals. All together though, this trio actually has a combined 9 FNCS FNCS wins, and we think number 10 might be just around the corner. Let's go, dude. All right, let me ask you this. If you want the chance to become one of the best of the best and just grind your way through the ranks to be one of the competitors in the FNCS, then there's one thing you can do to improve your chances fast, and that's head on over to ProGuys.com right now. We've got master classes from some of the best pros in the business, like Mongo and Clicks, which will take you through everything that they think you need to do to become one of the best trios in the business. It's the best way to learn some of the best techniques, and all you need to do is hit the link in the top right of the video. All right, so next up is the insane trio of Vadil, Razon, and Noah Rayleigh. These three are all looked up to to be the best fighters of all time. Not only are they the underdogs, they came from nothing to being the best. It all started from a cash cup, and these three rose to fame with ease. Vadil boxed Mongo like a literal flopper and made him look clueless. Just by watching him play, I mean, you could tell how ahead he was of the meta. This trio has also automatically qualified for the Season 6 Grand Finals and were cheated out of their way of winning the FNCS all because of a last match game crash. Along with being the best fighters in the game, I mean, this trio still manages to dominate in every single endgame 
game that they play with Sweaty Sands all to themselves, this trio will easily place top three this season. This trio is so ahead of the meta man and not a single pro is close to being as good as them. Okay, so if you ask any pro, they will always tell you that this trio would absolutely destroy them, you know, when it comes to a fair fight. The peaks, mechanics, and overall game sense that these three have implemented into their daily routine is shocking, and the average player cannot even comprehend what is happening when watching Noah and Vadil. Without a doubt, man, you just need to look out for this trio in the top three, and even the first place spot. Bunch of crunch, Sarmi. Okay, guys, it's time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know which player you think is carrying their team right now. Let us know in the comments down below, and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, back to the video. All right, so going back to the winner's circle, the trio of Hen, Janice, and Chapix is known to be the best in the EU. Just like Acorn and Arkham's trio, like these three win almost every event that they play in. Along with winning the Season 5 FNCS, they won many more cash cups and won DH Extra with absolute ease. This trio is also the best in-game trio in the world and have proved it by winning almost every placement-based tournament in the hardest region. This trio will also have any spot uncontested and will run any trio out of their POI. No matter what ping they are on, this trio places in all game modes. For example, Hen has placed in almost every single NAE cash cup and is outplacing the top tier NAE pros in their own region. The talent and game sense is something the average player would die for and you know is the reason this trio will dominate in the next FNCS. Along with being auto qualified, this trio has the most experience. No matter what scenario you put them in, you know, from World Cup to laggy NAE servers, like this trio has succeeded in all. One HP, spin away. Behind you, behind you. One HP, one HP. Dead. Let's go. Okay, so before we go into our next trio, we gotta talk about, you know, some of the most underrated trios that have qualified to the grand finals and heats of this season. All right, so we know, you know, we've been talking a lot about, you know, auto qualified trios, but there are many more trios, man, that have a great chance of winning this FNCS. You know, there are many newly formed and underdog trios that have qualified to this season's grand finals, and the best out of them all is definitely Chimp, Teo, and Tabney. These three are the kings of Weeping Woods and qualified to the Grand Finals in the first week of the FNCS qualifiers. Along with qualifying the Grand Finals already, this trio placed ninth last season and were very inspirational. These three are the most underrated trio in the West and will definitely be getting top five in this FNCS with a little bit of luck on their side. Okay, so at our next spot is the trio of Bucky, Kanata, and Macwood. All right, so no matter what anybody says about Bucky, like this trio is still the best in the East. Even while having constant game crashes and bugs in the FNCS Grand Finals, this trio managed to place third in the Season 5 FNCS, which ought to qualify them to the Grand Finals. The fragging skill in this trio is very good, and, you know, the chemistry between them is just insane. No matter how bad they do, you know, these three have the best vibes and, you know, they're never going to bring each other down. Along with their skill, they will have craggy clips uncontested and will be allowed to dominate the end game like they always do. Kanata and Macwood were arguably one of the best duels last season and paired with Bucky, I mean, they're just unmatched. Kanata is definitely like the best fighter in AE and with these two smart and efficient players, they have no competition. And so without a doubt, this trio has to be, you know, some of the best FNCS players and are the definition of consistent. They are definitely the top three best NAE trios and is the reason you will see them doing amazing in this FNCS. across summary those were the five trios that we think you need to watch in this season's fncs you know each of these teams are absolutely incredible and every player has worked incredibly hard to get where they are today if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and if you want to connect with me on my instagram i'm right here at your motivation guy yo stop don't stop grinding you keep going never quit never surrender and i'll see you on the next one peace